Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and today we are going to be doing our pre-balancing of our checking accounts and savings accounts, our bank accounts in general since we are cashless budgeters. I have some of my spreads already set up with you guys from the previous videos for this month. We set up our monthly calendar together, our dashboard, our savings tracker, along with our variable income, October budget, and our sinking funds and transaction log. Today we are going to be using this side to set up one of our weekly check-in sheets, which is our weekly balance. Our weekly check-in we will set up in a different spread since this is what we use weekly to check in everything. This one we use weekly as well but I like to set this up with you guys for this specific video because I like to balance out my checking accounts in here. This is what I use this spread for to make sure our checking account is good. If you have multiple checking accounts that's what I would use this for too. I'll go into more details about this in our bank accounts in a second but just to also talk to you guys there are a couple of other sheets in here too but there's only one more sheet that i'll be using and that is going to be for my debt payment and that will be in a separate video because i do have updates for you guys as well and that'll be in a later video but for right now let's go ahead and talk about our checking accounts so this is where we left off i have them all here if you guys are not familiar with this i'll have videos linked below one is kind of like a quicker one and then and another video is a very very deep dive video of all of our checking accounts and our saving accounts how they're all intertwined with each other and how they all kind of work together for us to be able to budget um, it'll probably make more sense after seeing how these all work together when i do the weekly check-ins you'll be able to see how i calculate it every single week every single month balance out the checking saving accounts but as a brief overview i i always tell you guys how much are in the accounts but i have not budgeted in months so these numbers are all completely inaccurate now so i will be giving you guys the new numbers of the numbers that are in there currently and then we will balance them out together as well but we have a long-term savings this is at a separate institution this is the one that i usually mention that is at ally it's at a very high yield savings our savings account now with our normal institutions actually a pretty high yield savings now too but i still like to have it separated so it's kind of like out of sight i'm not tempted to see it that kind of thing but this is the savings tracker that I use to track our ally accounts and I did have a video talking about the different buckets for that one. Our short term savings in our two checking accounts, these three accounts are all in our primary institution, the one that we have our direct deposit in, the one that we have our bills auto paid out from, the one that we kind of like use every day day in and day out or at least I check them. We have our first checking account which is what we use to make payments. Our second checking account, which is what is used to house all of, of our funds for the month in here. And this is the one that I use the weekly balance spread to calculate all the time. At one point, I wanted to have a separate checking account for all of the categories that we'll be talking about today. But it just actually really works out for me to just have everything consolidated into one, especially with the spread. I really haven't really felt the need to open up multiple checking accounts especially since a lot of the checking accounts at this institution you need to have a direct deposit or an average like amount in there or something like that this is, has been working out very well for us for the past few years and then we have a short-term savings which is what we usually put our paychecks in until the next month to budget and i know that was a very very quick overview of this but i wanted to just talk about it slightly since um, i do have the videos below that go really in depth into them but let's actually go ahead and talk about these accounts so for these accounts the savings account i usually never really talk about the balance since that one i like to keep private i do share some of the buckets with you guys but overall i like to keep that to ourselves and then we have this checking account that i don't really talk about ever because it just fluctuates so much with paying credit cards we haven't written a check 
at all for a very long time but that would be an example of waiting for that to come out but this is our outgoing funds so this fluctuates so much that i just don't really talk about it because if i make a payment it sometimes takes a few business days sometimes i'm lazy and i don't make a payment until the next day like it kind of just fluctuates so we have our short-term savings this i always share with you guys so currently in here we have quite the chunk of money because we have not been budgeting so we've kind of been like just shriveling up our normal checking accounts this second checking account is what we use to house our like sinking fund money our daily spending money which is eating out groceries gas allowance pups and baby all of our bill money all of that is housed in here so currently let's actually talk about it real quick so in this second checking account in our reserve account we currently have one thousand three hundred seventeen dollars and 69 cents because we are rebalancing our accounts from being maa from our budget for so many months i'm i have to redo everything from scratch and restart them so i'm actually going to combine both of these amounts because this is completely off we're missing a lot of money here like i don't even think we've been budgeting this like we've just been pulling from it like and kind of guiltily i don't even know if that's a word but <laughs> we've been going on like we've been treating ourselves out a little bit more these past couple of months that's kind of what happens to us when we don't budget we we just have a lot of fun so um we're going to combine these two so that is how much is currently in this account but we're going to add it up with how much is in our short-term savings and this is kind of a collection of our different paychecks because as each paycheck comes in we put it into the short-term savings so when the month starts we have the full amount that we need to budget with so for example all the funds that came in from september is already in here so i need to pull it out so our october budget we have the funds for but in here we currently have so we're gonna do plus ten thousand four hundred and eighty four dollars so that is quite the chunk, but it's going to shrivel up very quickly because we have some things to pay, we have some money to move, and if you guys are familiar, this money always ends up disappearing into the abyss for all of our bills for the month. This is how much we currently have, which is $11,801.69. So to start off with, we're going to go ahead and look at how much we need in this checking account so this checking account is going to hold our daily amount which is going to be one thousand dollars but one thousand it's going to be the full five five thousand dollars but just to talk about it again in case you guys didn't see the budget with me one thousand dollars for our daily expenses plus eight hundred and twenty five dollars for our sinking funds and to transfer a bit of money to ally plus the total for our variable bills and our fixed bills combined, adding these two numbers together, is going to be $3,175. So in total, that is $5,000 so far that we will need to transfer. And then also our starting amount that we had for sinking funds. So the starting amount that we needed for sinking funds was $2,200. And that's what we started with. That's what we decided to fund all of these accounts with. And that equals $7,200. The reason why we're not adding this one to this number is because this is taken out of our monthly budget, which is $725. We've already budgeted that. And we just took the money from here to put into sinking funds because that's how much we delegated out the 725 to all of these little subcategories. So let's go ahead and transfer $7,200. And I'm actually going to just, I have like these extra, these are like really old, but I just kind of hoard stickers. But I have them, so I'm going to just use them. These are removable. I like to just use stickers versus post-its because I feel like post-its like fall off for me a lot, especially in here for whatever reason. So we're going to transfer 7200 That means what's going to be left in our savings account, What we calculated it was at 11, 8, 0, 1, 69. So that's the number that we just calculated earlier together. That means in this account, we will have 
$4,601.69 left over. We're going to talk about this number in a second together because we're not done with this because I have some other plans for this as well. But let's go ahead and just real quick to set up our weekly balance sheet so you guys can see the numbers and the accounts laid out. Also, I haven't talked about it yet, but my nails... You guys know I never have nails on. I tried doing nails once like a couple years ago. I don't remember how long and I just never got them again. I, I just ended up letting them grow out. They looked so funky. But these are actually press on nails and I kind of like fell down the rabbit hole with press on nails. This is my first time trying them on and I'm really enjoying them. I don't use glue. I actually just use the little stickers that come with it because I don't plan on keeping these on long. I just wanted to have something festive for the video, maybe wear them for a day or two. But these are so cute and Halloween-y. <laughs> these nails are from Timu actually, so I'm really like excited for them. They come in like a pack. And honestly, I'm a little nervous that they'll pop off because it is with the stickers versus the like nail glue. I just don't want to use nail glue because like I don't plan on keeping them on long term. It's really hard for me to function with nails. Like I like my nails cut to the nub. <laughs> so um, these are the nails that they come with, and it came with like little stickers in the nail filer too. But these are like the little stickers that I use to stick on, and I kind of just like kind of press them in and rub them out and then just pop the nails that fit on so i'm really excited i actually got a few different ones just for halloween for i didn't really get anything thanksgiving because i didn't see anything but i did get like a bunch of christmas ones too so i'm really excited to just wear them and i just wanted to kind of have like a change for the holidays since i'm always so bare with my nails i don't even like paint them because if I paint them, then I have to like still maintenance them and they always chip on me. Yeah. Anyway, but I just want to talk about them real quick and I hope that you guys like them because I actually really love them. So I was excited to film a video with some, some cute nails on. But okay, so anyway, what were we doing? Yes, the weekly balance. And I have the thin washi missing because I did steal it from when I did the sinking funds video with you guys. I did end up just grabbing it from there. But we're going to put the thick washi down. And honestly, maybe I should have used the Halloween print for this video because of my nails. But it's okay. We're just going to stick to this print because I did use that other design for the monthly. I just want to move this over just a little bit. Better. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a tiny bit as well. But anyway. Okay, so let's talk about this spread here. So this spread is for me to track my checking accounts. Or for you guys to track your checking account. Even investments. Like it could really be for anything. Kind of just checking week by week how things go. One, two, three. I'm just gonna do the same amount of lines as the other page because I only check in for four weeks at a time instead of five, though I do have five strips on here if you guys do need five weeks. But for me, I always just do four. Four just always works out. Sometimes, depending on the month, one of the weeks ends up being extremely long, but it still works. For me, three and then four. And then I do five lines because I have five categories that I usually track in my other spread. But in here, I just like to have it even for both sides. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the last little thin washi. And then I'm just gonna put this in the middle actually versus towards the bottom and then I do have these little cute flags I'm going to use too okay. definitely don't have to do any of the things that I'm doing but I love laying down stickers it's like 
so relaxing therapeutic beautiful this oh we're not gonna end up using so i'm gonna put this to the side now i guess let me just do the lines real quick and i'll be right back okay so the lines are down now and also before i forget to the pen that i'm using is a pentel energy alclena pen this is the ever so popular pen this is in 0 0.04 as well black ink but let's talk about the different categories for this check-in count that we just transferred seven thousand two hundred dollars to it is going to be for our daily funds our bills and our sinking funds it's kind of hard to write with nails i don't i'm really not used to it just to talk about these a little further, you guys know I love like categorizing subcategories. Sub, it's just everything's broken down to the extreme, maybe, but I enjoy it very much so. But our first category for the daily is these five: eating out, groceries, gas allowance, pups, and bean. So we already know that for these, we gave ourselves a budget of one thousand dollars for the month: eating out, three hundred, groceries, four hundred, so on and so forth. So for the month, we are starting with $1,000 for our daily categories. So 1000 Next, we have bills. Bills is all of this down here. We have quite the bit of bills. We have our variable bills, our fixed bills. Adding everything up together for what we're expected to pay for this month for bills is $3,175. So that is how much we are budgeting for the beginning of the month as well. 3175 Next, for sinking funds. So for sinking funds, we have $2,200 that we are starting with. And then we added $725. So that equals $2,925 that we are starting with for the month. Because before we added funds, we had this amount in the categories, but we did add funds. So now that our budget is rolling this is how much we're starting the month with because we always set this up together right at the beginning of the month before it ends like this is our budget for the month so i hope that makes sense so that means that for this category for seeking funds we have two thousand nine hundred twenty five dollars in there to start with so let's just add all of this up combined so plus 1000 for a daily and then plus 3175 for bills that equals I'm just going to put it here like I I kind of just have been doing this since I've been filming on camera just so you guys can see it visually but that is in total $7100 which is looking great as you guys can see we transferred $7200 so the one thing that we did not account for is ally because ally we're, we're transferring the money 100 so let's actually just do that right now real quick too so we're transferring 100 dollars to ally and i already put this in here when i did the savings tracker with you guys because i just wanted to show you guys as reference do we ever decide where we're putting this i don't think we ever decided where we're putting this 100 so i guess we'll just put it in like our our other like our core category or our core budget if you guys have multiple savings you guys can put it in whatever particular account you guys have but for me i have my one savings account split up into different buckets you guys don't necessarily have to have ally to split it up into different categories you definitely can and just add them up um however you want to utilize the tracker you can leave it as like the full account amount or per bucket amount per category amount however it works for you guys we're going to transfer call it core and then we'll just say october savings so yes we're, i'm gonna leave the end amount blank since i do keep that portion of it private but we're going to just leave it like this the date oh i don't even know what today's date is i will fill in the date later on but let's see okay i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next portion now that we've done the transfer this is now 7100 
So that is now balanced and that looks great. This number in this account should always match what our weekly balance is. So when we first do our first week's check-in, we're going to be spending some money from the categories. Bills are going to come out daily. We're going to have some money spent. So you guys will see how this spread coincides with our checking account. This is kind of like a visual for you guys to see how our accounts look and how they kind of deduct from the funds and everything. Um, I, I get a lot of feedback from you guys enjoying this kind of visual for you guys so i'm definitely going to continue using this every single week so now that this is taken care of let's talk about our savings so i did say that i have some other plans for this and it's actually going to be to pay another student loan i have so many updates regarding our debt with you guys and i'm definitely going to be going through that information in our debt payment video and i still have to figure out when to start doing those videos whether at the beginning or the end i'm thinking the end because I want to start incorporating a savings challenge with it and whatever we save to also go towards our payment too. I'm kind of like working through it as the time goes but I'm going to flip to the back to where our debt spread is and if you guys are curious about any of the spreads back here, I definitely have videos referencing these and I have videos setting them up with you guys too. But I'm going to flip to the debt one real quick. The other side of this is my husband's and I don't want to show you guys quite yet until we do the debt payment video together and then I can talk about all of it together with you guys. This one is currently my student loans and I have a debt confessions video going over these with you guys as well. This is my overview. We did end up paying one of the student loans that was at 4.8% and this was in September, we ended up paying it off because of how high the interest is at 4.8%. If you guys have watched my very first debt video, we talked about wanting to just pay my husband's first because his, he has like, his loans are less than mine's and it just, we wanted to tackle off his so we kind of minimized that one payment per month versus like mixing them together and then I don't know how long it's going to take to pay both of them off. So we're just focusing on his first and then we're going to tackle mine after. But we decided to actually just pay off one more student loans from mine because we have 4.2%. All of these are lower than 4.2% except for 4.41%. For 4.2%, both of our savings, I believe they're either equal to or they're more than this for their interest rate. So it kind of like balances out but this one for 4.41 percent it's it's we're kind of losing on it i know it's very odd to pay this one because like it's a 0.2 percent difference but it, it still adds up that's kind of the route that we're going <laughs> and we're just going to pay that off i'm actually going to pay it off with you guys right now we're going to be pulling funds from this i'm actually going to pull up the amount real quick right now just to see what the finalized amount is to pay this all off we're going to take it from the short-term savings so i can transfer it in here they usually take like a few days to take it out but it's fine because you guys know i don't really balance this because i see this as whatever money is in there is going to be going out so i don't really touch it because it's going to be going towards paying something and for this case it's going to be going towards a different institution to pay my student loan so that's kind of what we're going with. We kind of debated back and forth on whether or not if there's a point to this or not. But I mean, paying it now, paying it later, we're going to still have to pay it eventually anyway. So we decided to just tackle it since this is our highest interest now across the board. So the total amount currently that we owe for this is now $3,526.68. I guess that's kind of why it's a good idea because it already gained like $15 since interest started a few weeks ago. Okay, I guess it's time for me to figure out what the date is. Okay, so for today's date, it is 10 7 23, and we're going to go pay 103. The amount total is three thousand five hundred twenty six dollars and sixty eight cents so the remaining balance is now going to be zero that's awesome we have one more debt now paid off the total for this one i, I really like to see the total paid that's i don't know if that's just me it's just like i don't know it's kind of a motivator for me to continue because for example 
our this loan we started at six thousand and then we paid an extra one thousand three hundred over one thousand three hundred dollars in interest so it kind of just makes me just want to continue paying it all off sooner rather than later because of seeing how much interest it just collects is so sad but that is how much we ended up paying so for this one not that bad it gained 26 dollars and 68 cents i'm assuming it's because this was an unsubsidized loan or was it subsidized i actually don't even remember now <laughs> the differences i know one of them is interest starts immediately the other one interest starts after you start making payments or graduate or whatever it may be great okay so now let's talk about how much is in this account now so that minus the four six zero one sixty nine equals now a new amount in here is the whole one thousand seventy five dollars in one cent that is currently in our savings account and if, when we do our debt payment video I'm most likely gonna be using some of this to be paying our debt for the month in our debt payment for this month but now all of our accounts are good and just a reminder that 3526 we did transfer it to checking so we're it's the weekend so we are going to have it for however many days business days until they end up taking that that money out of the account but it's just going to sit here because i don't really pay attention to this like that anyway but yeah, now our accounts are all good and ready to go. And yeah, so that's actually going to be it for this video. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I feel like I usually do until I start doing these videos religiously and then I get a groove on. But yeah, so thank you guys so much as always for tuning in. That is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye!